Perfect. I am Caitlin McDaniel. I'm with Gaiety and Pride on Instagram. Hi, everyone. It's so great to chat with you today. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Um, Congratulations on the new show. I loved watching it. Um, And just to begin, I'd love to jump over to um, Misha and ask you a question. Um, Nolan is seeking something more from the small town and they're trying to find where they fit in. So can you just talk about, you know, this character and bringing representation to our screens and what this means for the LGBTQ community? Sure. I mean, I mean, look, we've been on the upswing, luckily, on representation when it comes to what we're seeing on TV and the kinds of people and stories that we're seeing. But I think we all three of us, we got so lucky because we have a, an amazing queer writer and showrunner, Casey, and we had two incredible directors that wanted to shape these kids and, you know, Nolan's, my character Nolan, to a level where they're they're messy and they're real and they're dealing with, you know, in, you know, in Nolan's case, gender identity, but in a way that's relatable and in a way that isn't super glossy or super uh, over-processed because I think that's the future of representation is seeing the nitty gritty kind of um, in between moments where things get really messy. And if you're in your room and trying to figure out what your body looks like or how you feel about your gender, that that it can be really, um, I keep saying messy because messy. And I think that that's what I love about this show. And that's where the representation, I think, really thrives um, in the way that we tell the story. Mm -hmm. It's definitely, it's not a glamorized high school romance show. Um, um, just to add on to that, I feel like it's, we, we kind of normalize all of the things that they go through and really show that these are normal things for people to go through and hopefully people feel seen through that. Yes, and I think messy is definitely a perfect word to kind of just describe the whole show in general. Um, and then jumping over to you, Stephanie, your character is a part of this colony guarding monsters and finding themselves, you know, mixing in with this small town. So what was the most challenging thing about taking on that role? I mean, it was a really exciting role and filled with adventure. I think the only challenging part is, um, you know, there are so many different aspects of it where she's either in isolation or she's in the real world or the colony or in a there was someplace else, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, there were these basically four different worlds and it, it was, we filmed the, the four episodes at the same time. So it was kind of like keeping them all straight and remembering which world we're in and what part of the story and um, and where they are, because it was kind of all, we did it all at the same time. So kind of trying to like remember where we are and stuff for sure. And then Sophia, you kind of talked, you know, about just like, you know, the representation and how we're just showing the real lives of these characters. Um, But can you just talk about, you know, the dynamic of the three of you and working with your castmates and just establishing these relationships within the group? Yeah, I feel like the the characters are very different, Um, um, especially, you know, Carrie coming from this cult into uh, Nolan and Tasha's world of like, TikTok and X, Y, and Z and pancakes. Like, you know, she's never experienced these things, but because they're so different, that's kind of why it, their dynamic works. They fill each other's gaps. And you really see towards the end of the season too, all of the different things that they've adopted from each other and learned. Um, Carrie kind of realizes, hey, life can be beautiful. And and no, everyone is not out to get you. People can just love you out of the goodness of their heart. And for Tasha too, you know, she she has this loyalty to her friends and this endless, you know, wanting to care for everyone. But um, sometimes she has a hard time kind of stepping up to the plate and really doing you know, the physical force sometimes. And, and it, it's going to be really cool to see uh, where she can go from there. And if we can get a little bit of bravery out of her, but she's getting there. She's getting there. Absolutely. And then, you know, going back to Misha, um, this show has monsters and craziness and all this stuff going on, but what do you think will actually surprise the audience most about seeing this? I think it's going to be an even combination of kind of what we have already covered with some of the deeper emotional stuff, but also the humor. I I so appreciated that playing with these two on set and having our directors kind of guide us towards when when she gets scary, sometimes you make a joke because that's what humans do. And I, I think that we really <laughs> lean into that in this show. And I think that'll surprise people in a good way. 
just a final wrap up question. What do you hope the audiences will take away from seeing this? Whoever wants to start. I hope they have a fun time. I hope it's a super exciting adventure show and they just have a great time watching it. You're okay. It's going to be okay. And you're not crazy and you're normal and normal is not even, that's not even what is normal, but like, you're fine. No one's got to figure it out. <laughs> Everyone is a hot mess. No one's got to figure it out. And there, there is a place for you in this world. Yes. I, yes. I, yes. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Messy, but it's okay. That's the consensus. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with me. This has been super fun and congratulations again. Thank you. Like this video? Follow us for more.